I don't know if you've ever watched the movie Split, but I remember watching this movie before I got saved and the ending ruined it for me because I felt like it was very unrealistic and I, I could not stand unrealistic movies, okay? Because he, he turned into the beast at the end, started climbing up the wall and I was like, okay, I can't anymore. Y'all just ruined the movie, okay? And then I got saved and the Lord began to show me of spiritual things, okay? about what's really going on so i was like oh my god i have to watch this movie again because that was real okay what happened at the end of the movie <laughs> okay so i watched the movie again um when i got back home okay after i got out of jail and then i had to go to this rehab program <laughs> but i watched the movie again and you know demons they have personalities okay when you see these people this is not their true identity these are the personalities that they have adopted from these demons that reside in their vessel okay so in the movie split i think gary is the personality that comes out um, when he's speaking to the psychiatrist and to the rest of the world, okay? So this is the face or the personality that they put on for everyone to see, okay? Because Gary seemed like a regular guy, you know. He was very charismatic and talented. He, he was into art, right? So then... There's, I forget his name, but there's a different personality that comes out. And he's always wearing this black suit, okay, which represents darkness. And this personality only came out when he was in front of these girls that he had kidnapped, okay? Now, like a lot of people, that is, you know, the dark side that only the people that are close to them get to see okay most of the time significant others okay they get to see this person who this person is behind closed doors okay then in the movie there was another personality that came out which was his mother okay so his mother was very abusive and a lot of times, you know, when you're abused, you know, the devil will take advantage of that pain and trauma and it'll open up a door for that demon to come in and then you will become like your abuser, okay? And yeah, so sometimes, you know, you're seeing like a, a parental fi figure come out okay whoever abused them they have adopted that personality that demon okay that they let in because of pain trauma unforgiveness resentment anger okay then in the movie there was another personality it was his inner child okay so you know when you go through trauma at a young age your brain does not develop does not mature the way it's supposed to okay you do not emotionally mature the way that you are supposed to so they get stuck at that age when they were traumatized so that's why a lot of the times you will see them throw a temper tantrum when things do not go their way Okay, I, I experienced this as well. I used to not know how to handle my emotions, okay, because I was not emotionally mature because of all that pain, okay? Then what other personality? Oh, okay, so he, he had like 24 personalities, but they mainly focused on the ones that I just mentioned. And then the last one came out. Okay, well, actually, before the last personally personality came out, his true self came out, okay, for just a brief moment, okay? So one of the girls that he kidnapped got to see 
his true self okay but only for a little while because you know like the movie i think it's get out when uh whenever they would see uh, a flash they would come to their their true self would come to the surface and they would ask for help but it was only for a brief moment sometimes you'll see their their true self that is bound up by these demons inside and you'll and then you'll get to see them for a second and then you know you have compassion for them because you see how hurt that they are but then it quickly goes away and then the other demons come forth okay because you can't know they're not allowed to escape you're not allowed to see this person have compassion on them okay do not try to help them okay that's what these demons don't want you to do so oh and in the movie you know when the psychiatrist was talking to this guy with the personalities um she would she would be like who who is in the light right now okay so that's that was like whatever personality was uh was coming out at the moment okay like who's in the light right now that's how she would refer to it okay so they, they're only allowed to see the life for a brief moment you know to to like capture your feelings just for a little bit just to keep you lingering to try to help them and then the demons come forth because they don't they don't want you to help this person okay and they don't want this person to get help they are bound inside there okay their true identity is bound in there they're not allowed to come to the light okay they're not allowed to surface okay these demons have hijacked their brain okay and their emotions they have held their souls in bondage okay they're locked inside of their own body by these demons okay these demons thoughts are now their thoughts because they have become one okay they've been there for a very long time i've heard testimonies of people getting deliverance and when the the pastor is casting demons out they'll ask how long have you been there and the demons will reply we've been we've been in this person since the womb okay you know some people have had these demons attached to them for a very long time okay and they do not want to let go. They've been there so long that they have become one. And they're in a lot of pain. They're in bondage. And their thoughts, demons' thoughts, are now their thoughts. The demons' emotions are now their emotions. That's why you see all that anger and rage and depression and doubt and all the things that are not of the Lord. Because they are bound up in there, tied up by these demons. Okay, so in the movie, the last demon manifests, okay, which is the beast. The last personality is the beast, okay? So that was like a full manifestation, okay? The demons manifested. He started climbing on the walls and he was chasing after this one girl. Okay, so he had kidnapped these three girls, but he killed the other two. Okay, the beast killed the other two and and the psychiatrist. But um, one of them got away. Okay, so he's chasing after her and then uh, he sees these scars on her. And then he starts to back away and he starts, I forget what he says, but he says something about rejoice, rejoice for the, something about the pure heart will see the kingdom. Okay. The part that I thought was unrealistic when, yeah, that was real. Okay. See, she was marked and he could not touch her anymore. Okay. These demons could not overpower her anymore because she was marked. Okay. Just like we're marked and they can't mess with this anymore. Okay so the other ones that died they they were not marked and they were allowed to be abused and then killed by this person okay that was manifested by demons because they were not marked they did not uh walk with the lord but when you're walking with the lord these people cannot mess with you anymore and you know i had demons okay i did not even know i had demons but 
the Lord showed me this, okay? He began to show me spiritual things, and he gave me this dream after I got saved, okay? I was in this house, and I felt like this dark energy around me, okay? So I started praising the Lord. I started worshiping the Lord. So I was singing, and I was singing like up towards the ceiling. Then... Okay, then these little gray smoke clouds started to appear around the perimeter of the ceiling. Okay, one by one, there must have been like 30 to 40 of them. Okay, and so when I started worshiping the Lord, they all got sucked up into the middle of the ceiling into one big giant smoke cloud. And then it uh, it moved out of the house okay went out of the door okay so then when i woke up the lord gave me the interpretation okay and he told me that these demons are out of my house now okay because the lord can deliver you from these demons and the word of god will will deliver your soul okay so meditate on the word of god so we're gonna read john 12 John 12, verse 40, Jesus responded, didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? So they rolled the stone aside. The Lord rolled away that stone. OK, that heart of stone that I had. Then Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, thank you for hearing me. You always hear me, but I said it out loud for the sake of all these people standing here so that they will believe you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out. OK, he said, man, come out, my true self. Come out of that cave. OK, I have removed the stone of heart. Now come, come out. Your true self needs to come forward. And the dead man came out, his hands and feet bound in grave clothes. He brought me to life. Okay. His face wrapped in a headcloth. Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. He told them demons to unwrap my mind, unbind me, let me loose. Okay. And let me go. So that's, that's why these people act like that. Okay. Their true identity. They don't know who they are. Okay, their true identity has been bound up by these demons. Okay, so every once in a while you'll see a glimpse of them crying out for help. But the demons, you know, they have to come to the light so that you can help them and so that they stay stuck in their waves. Okay, they're just held in bondage. But, you know, if you have a loved one or a friend or, you know, anybody, you know, because we all we all deserve you know, to be free of these demons, you know, we just pray for them, that the Lord delivers them from these demons, and then their true identity can come to the light, okay, and if you believe it, it will happen for you, and your loved one will come back to you, okay, your friend will come back to you, you will free them from these demons that have held them in bondage, okay, I love you, song of the day in the description box below.